Okay, in this video, we're gonna go over how to do a synthetic collar, an options transaction that's a little bit more advanced than uh, what we've done so far. So in, remember in videos 90, 91, 92, uh, we've been going over covered calls, cash protected puts, and then some of the risks to think about. So maybe go to those videos first. Uh, but in this video, we're gonna do kind of a little bit more advanced option strategy that will give you some upside exposure uh, which was one of the problems with the uh, with a short put or the long or the covered call strategy where you're basically selling away all the upside in return for an upfront premium okay in this particular case you're gonna actually still have some upside exposure under certain circumstances alright so and we're gonna look at the stock Calumet uh, this again as always it's not a recommendation to buy or sell this stock at all it's just this particular stock renders this synthetic collar options uh, trade in such a way it's easier to teach so I, I do own a little bit of this company but this is not a recommendation for or against the stock okay so we're gonna start and we're gonna go out to just look at the February month and as you can see just like with the other stocks we've looked at this particular case there's four months uh, many stocks will have more months to choose from uh, and then uh, we're gonna look at uh, two different transactions we're gonna look at the call option for let's see we're gonna look at the 10 strike in call options and you can see here as always we've got our last trade at 65 yesterday and then right now we're bid at 55 and asked at 70 cents so we're going to be purchasing this call we're gonna buy it long and so our purchase price is the ask 70 cents by the way if you're ever confused about what the bid and the ask is just think about whatever is worse for you as, as an investor that's <laughs> usually a good heuristic so if you're buying of course you're going to be paying the higher price if you're selling of course you're going to be getting the lower price so this is my sort of mnemonic to remember uh, which which of these two prices is relevant given whether I'm buying or selling okay so we're buying this call the, the uh, February of, of 2022 we're gonna be buying the 70 uh, sorry the 10 10 call and paying 70 cents okay and then we're going to fund that by selling the February 5 put option okay and again you see here bid at 60 cents and asks that 70 since we're selling we get the worst of the two prices 60 cents so you can see that we're going to be doing one sale where we're a one one transaction where we're buying something another transaction where we're selling something and they almost net out okay so what we're doing here and then again we have to play out the scenarios you're re, you're agreeing to buy 100 shares of Calumet at five dollars if it trades below five and then you're purchasing the right to have exposure to Calumet dollar for dollar above ten okay so you have to think through the scenarios if this stock goes to infinity well your your five dollar put option is going to expire worthless and so you pocket this 60 cents if it goes to infinity you've paid 70 cents for an option of course this has, has to happen between now and February but you've paid for exposure to this stock above ten dollars so you actually break even at the net of these two options above the top strike price so you get 60 cents you pay 70 cents and so that's a net of 10 you're actually paying ten dollars net and so this trade breaks even at ten dollars and ten cents that's the simplest way to think about it now on the other direction let's think about an adverse scenario so let's say the stock goes to zero well you paid 70 cents for this option you got 60 cents for the five put and the stock goes to zero so you actually can lose five dollars per share plus the ten dollar net debit the difference between these two prices so your total exposure is five dollars and ten cents of potential risk so these are the two situations that can happen now the stock also can stay between these two strikes so between five and ten again basically it's going to be you're going to be paying this difference between the purchase price of the one and the sale price of the other so this ten dollar spread this debit uh, debit between the two options okay so we can actually look at this and I like to render these sometimes I write them down in my notebook so remember we're buying the February 10 call and paying 70 cents for it we're selling the February 10 put and getting 60 cents for that right and this nets out at ten dollars 
So this is one of these synthetic collar with a debit. Now, of course, you can structure it differently, right? You can also, let's say we decide to take a little bit more risk and instead we sell the sixth strike in February. Well, here we get 95 cents for that and that makes the premium look a little bit more attractive, right? So instead of a $60 uh, credit, we get a $95 credit and that would actually lead to a net $25 credit. So you can pick whatever strike you want and maybe it can work out where you can actually get paid up front. The whole idea of the synthetic collar is to get options, expo get exposure to the stock doing very, very well by buying a call, but by the same token, you're actually self-funding this transaction by taking on some risk with a short put, okay? That's the synthetic collar. Uh, you may want to look at any stock that you're interested in and look at some different scenarios. Uh, these things can, you know, they can cost you money because you're taking all the risk for this stock below the put, the strike price of the put that you're selling, right? So like, like in uh, life as in options, there's many ways to suffer and, uh, you know, things can go wrong, right? You're taking on a fair amount of risk here, but you're actually offsetting one of the other existential risks, which is the stock goes up a ton and you're not long, right? This gives you some exposure, at least until the February expiration, okay? So I hope this helps, and as always, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching.